I think, first of all, it's, it is very difficult. It's never easy. Um, you did adult ER. Mm -hmm. I did some adult ER a long time ago, and it seems a lot more natural to tell someone that their 89-year-old mother is probably not going to make it and let them come in the room and hold her hand and all that kind of thing. But no one thinks that their child should die um, before them. And um, it is really tough. One of the evolutions in our practice in emergency medicine is, as you know, the involvement of parents at the bedside, even for critical procedures and resuscitation. It didn't used to be that way 25 years ago. The parents would get isolated mm -hmm. in a room and the chaplain would get called and you wouldn't talk to them until it was all over. But nowadays we try to bring the parents into the room. We try to have a staff who acts as their interpreter, telling them what's going on, everything we're doing, why we're doing it, why the medicine we gave put the kid to sleep, you know, that kind of thing. But it is, um, it's tough, but I think the more that you can have them see everything that the staff put into it, all of the blood, sweat, and tears, and the staff does cry too, um, the more the parents uh, yep. feel that their child had, was given every possible chance and that the whole team cared almost as much as they do. And even in the chaos, of a resuscitation, there are always 15 seconds where you can turn to a parent and say, right now we've given him medicine so we can breathe for him. It'll make it a whole lot easier. And then you can get back to where you're going and you can guide them through it. It's, it's a really chaotic, scary place to be and that's why it's good to have a staff member there and you know, ask us questions and we will answer them as best we can as you ask them. Another great thing about pediatric emergency medicine versus adult is it's really not common to have people die. Yes. Most of the time we turn them around and even if they're really sick, we get them up to our ICU, which is fantastic. That's, that's the more typical scenario, right? Yeah, it is. And the most typical scenario is to fix up a kid and give him a sticker and a popsicle and get right. him out the door because a popsicle cures everything, as you right. know. You know, right. it's just depends. And on their the brother or sister gets a popsicle. Oh, you cannot give one child in the room a popsicle. Gets a popsicle. Everyone. Sometimes gets the it. parents get popsicles. Yeah, especially at night, they need a little sugar.